Welcome to our channel. San Jose State volleyball team distraught over coaches firing following lawsuit to protect women's sports. Female athlete on the San Jose State Spartans women's volleyball team said they are distraught over the sudden firing of their assistant coach who spoke out against the inclusion of a transgender athlete on the team. Melissa Betty Smoose, the San Jose State Spartans women's volleyball associate head coach, was suspended indefinitely after she filed a title complaint against the school alleging that Blair Fleming, the team's transgender player, conspired with an opponent to help the team lose a match and injure teammate Brooke Slusser. In an appearance on America Reports Tuesday, Slusser said Beatty Smoose's firing came as a shock to the female athletes who've relied on her as their only sounding board to air their frustrations about playing with a biological male on their all-female team. I think you can imagine, she was that one person that everyone felt like they could voice their opinion to and truly speak how they felt with the whole situation and feel comforted, Slusser said. And then taking that away from us everyone felt distraught. And especially finding out minutes before a game, it was just a horrible situation. Beatty Smoose previously told OutKick that she was told not to speak to the media after she was terminated accusing the school of trying to silence people that are speaking up for their First Amendment rights and for what's right. The national controversy has led to seven canceled matches this season. It's sad that the school still chooses to prioritize one man's needs over an entire team and be willing to get rid of half of our season because of it, Slusser said on America Reports. It's amazing that other teams in the conference can stand up and just say no. We are not doing this, and yet our school is still okay with having one person on our team that is causing all of these issues and yet will not get rid of them. The volleyball team leader previously told Fox News Digital in an exclusive interview that the university's handling of the situation has left her feeling unsafe and in an unprotected position after multiple threats against her life. No matter what people's opinions are, whether they want to support not allowing trans in the NCAA, or if they do support that, whatever they think, there obviously are two sides to having me on the team and having Blair on the team. So it's just this fear that you never even know what people are going to do these days, Slusser said. The team now travels with armed security as it continues to dominate the national conversation surrounding the participation of transgender athletes on female teams. Thanks you for watching. Stay connected with us for more videos.